Hi people, uh, I just want to cover um, what Jesus uh, looked like when uh, he was uh, on the earth. Um, I just get really baffled when I see all the images of him uh, these different religions have. And it's uh, even the Jehovah's Witnesses have got him as some stocky chap in some of their books, but the Catholics seem to be the main offenders, like, uh, it just, I, I, all I want to do is just turn to Isaiah 53, and uh, it's verses 1, 2, and 3, uh, and it says, Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, uh, which means like good looking. Um, so he's not going to be good looking. This is when Isaiah was uh, prophesying um, about Jesus before he arrived on the earth. Uh, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid it, <clears throat> sorry, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Right, so basically, uh, that describes him as uh, a tender plant. He's uh, probably quite frail at the time, um, as a root out of dry ground. Um, we have has no beauty, uh, no comeliness. Uh, it's, that's virtually the same kind of thing. I think they're just, Isaiah is just verifying that. Um, but I think it's just something that people should take notice of. If you're in a, um, uh, in a religion that shows Jesus in a certain way, um, there are other scriptures that say that long hair on men is an abomination. So why would Jesus, <coughs> excuse me, himself have long hair? Um, and they have his face all like perfect and really pretty eyes, and you know, and, uh, you know. Obviously, he's it's a different matter now entirely. Yeah, um, you know. Um, but certainly, when he was on the earth, I mean, when I come across the scripture, I was like, whoa. <laughs> You know, it's, uh, it takes your breath away because obviously he, you know, he wouldn't have stood out too much. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, he, he wanted to do his bit and, and be there for the very reason he was there. And, um, you know, he would have stood out enough, <laughs> you know, by the time he was doing his work. Um, uh, as early as 15, you know, his mum was going, well, where have you been, you know, and so, you know, I've been preaching, <laughs> I've been down the temple, like, you know, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was quite a fair chap at the time, uh, and he wasn't really good looking at the time, uh, obviously he is now, you know what I mean, he's definitely going to be, you know, but, I mean, if you, if it, I mean, if you imagine if he was a real, like, a uh, good-looking chap at the time, and you know, there would have been people hanging around him for the wrong reasons. You know, even men would have hung around with him for the wrong reasons. You know, I was hanging around with this dude. You know, he's, uh, he looks good. You know what I mean? He's doing all this and the other. So, like, some of the hearts, you know, would have drifted into the, you know, into that area of hanging around with the guy for not the right reasons and whatnot. You know. Um, yeah, I, it's a short video, but I just thought I'd mention that. Um, <laughs> so uh, all those images of Jesus out there, uh, where he's really pretty looking like really handsome, right? Guys, you've got it wrong, <laughs> because this is right out of the Bible, right? This is a description from Isaiah. He was uh, one of the folks that actually spoke about Jesus before he arrived, and this is one of the prophecies that came to be. Uh, to into being like. So there you go. So if you want to remember that one, it's Isaiah 53, uh, 
campers, one to three. Um, you know, take that to your congregations, to your um, religious leaders, pastors, uh, I don't know, the call of fathers, which they shouldn't do because it says in the Bible, call no one else father but me. But there you go, take all that, take it back to who's in charge of your church or hall or wherever that you congregate. Because uh, I think the facts have been very um, outstanding. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll leave that with you. It's up to you what you do with it. Thank you for your time. Bye.